This is the OP-1 Op Lab. The Op Lab is a companion device for the Teenage Engineering OP-1, uh, but you can also use this with any USB device to convert USB signals um, to CV and gate or to sync. You can also plug CV and gate devices into this to convert to MIDI and many, many other features. Um, basically, just a quick overview, there are there's a CV1, a CV2, and a gate input. CV1, CV2, and gate output. There's a digital connector for future expansion purposes. Some mode selector switches down here. You can do volt per octave, uh, CV, or hertz per volt. There's some mode selector switches. There's a MIDI input, MIDI output, and a sync output, as well as a USB for connection to your computer, as well as two USB A and B host uh, outputs that you can use to control external devices um, or to connect them to this. It's a really very flex a very flexible device. It's actually kind of a bare circuit board. I mounted mine in a homemade wood enclosure. The Op Lab um, can work with any external CV gear, uh, CV gate gear, analog gear, her legacy gear, heritage gear, anything that you have. It can work with Eurorack systems, modular systems, but um, for the purpose of of using it directly with within the Teenage Engineering um, design environment. They've also got some sensors for sale. So for example, here's the poke sensor. Poke is a pressure sensor. There is a flip sensor. Flip is an accelerometer, much uh, exactly, I guess, in the same vein as the one that's inside the OP-1. And there's some differences with how you can use flip versus the one inside the OP-1. And then there's tap, which is a piezoelectric sensor um, that you can trigger sounds just by tapping on it when connected to the OP-1. You can use these sensors with the Op Lab to control other external gear, but in the examples I'm going to show you today, I'm actually controlling the OP-1. So this is the Op Lab. It's hooked up uh, via USB to the OP-1, and I have the flip sensor plugged into CV input 1, and it's set on mode 7 sensor mode. Just want to show quickly what you can do with the flip sensor. Okay, so here in this demo, I have both the flip and the poke sensors. Poke is a pressure sensor um, that is plugged into the gate input jack on the op lab, and flip is still plugged into the CV1 jack to control essentially pitch. So here's poke. So you can see that that's triggering the, the OP1. And then here's flip. Let me do it this way. In this video, I'll be showing you the tap sensor along with the op lab and the OP-1. Um, and to change things up a little bit, we're also going to get into the flip sensor. But the tap sensor is a um, piezo electronic uh, sensor inside. You tap, and uh, it's plugged into the gate input of the op lab. <clears throat> the tap sensor will trigger a percussion sound. You can also trigger synthesizer sounds. So if we use the flip, you can control the pitch. Flip is run to the CV input, CV1 of the op lab. How about let's go back to the drum. The drum is really where this is exciting. Um, 
So you can see I've got a snare going, and because it's a drum, you can use drumsticks. So we can play a little beat here. Quick little example. One of the other really <clears throat> useful things about also having flip here is with the drum kit, you can use flip to change the note that you're triggering. So you get the idea. So we can uh, play the beat again. Pretty cool what you can do with tap and flip along with the op lab and the op1 um, one of the, uh, the things i'm going to experiment with is mounting this down on a harder surface because you will see it. <clears throat> it does bounce a little bit as you're tapping it um, but of course you can always use like i said your finger at any time so i think i have a conga kit in here somewhere So with uh, Latin percussion, in particular, um, a drum like a conga or a bongo, you could actually sample that drum with different ranges of tonality increasing across the drum sampler. So as you tap and tilt flip, you can increase the tonality based on what, however you sample your drum um, as you play. So instead of changing um, drum samples, you could actually have a bunch of samples of the same drum in different tones and textures and navigate through them with flip and tap.